Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net. Thanks again for watching. This is your look ahead updated on Wednesday the 11th of February. Now don't forget, if you want a forecast for today and tomorrow, then uh, all that detail is available to you in Gary's Fast Forecast. Um, but in the look ahead, as usual, uh, we take a look at the overall conditions that are likely to be affecting the weather during the uh, coming few days and weeks. We've got many new viewers watching, so a welcome to you. Thanks for coming along. Please do spread the word to your friends. Um, first up today, just wanted to show you the uh, temperature prediction from the GFS Ensemble. This is for London, and you see here how things getting milder look into um, the uh, course of next week. Um, there is some sort of fall off in temperature here that the GFS Ensemble is seeing once we're into the following week. There are some hints of the flow getting around more into a westerly and the problem that the models have at the moment is that with that westerly coming in, it's coming over cooler water in the Atlantic, so that's just easing off temperatures a little bit. But generally, although it's not uh, particularly uh, very warm, if we get some sunshine with these warmer temperatures, or these milder temperatures, then it will be feeling a little bit spring-like. And that can't come a moment too soon, can it? Um, this is the 7 to 10 day mean of the 500 millibar flow. We've got the ECMWF on the left here. We've got the GFS on the right. And... Um, what these charts show us is where heights at 500 millibars are going to be higher than normal and lower than normal. The higher than normal heights are in red, the lower than normal are in blue. And where we've got those higher than normal heights, the tendency is towards high pressure. And you notice that both the ECMWF and also the GFS significantly going back into higher than normal heights today. Um, having actually yesterday had a little bit of a wobble uh, on the models and um, gone for a more unsettled flow next week but they're flipping back towards high pressure once again. I'm going to need to do some work on this later on today actually just to try and get some ideas going and try and pin down exactly uh, where this is going to go next week. Notice um, the strong jet stream here look that is towards the north of the UK both on the GFS and on the ECMWF. Now problem we have is that if that's a little bit further south, so should that move a little bit further south, it puts the UK in the firing line for unsettled conditions. So although high pressure looks as if it's going to come in, and that's what I'm going to show you on the charts in a moment, we always need to be aware of this problem that um, that jet could get a little bit further south. And this is the panel chart for um, from the uh, GEM. This is the Canadian GEM model going ahead 10 days. And i show you these just to give you an idea, as sometimes called postage stamps, um, or I call them panel charts, um, just to show you how things develop. And look, this is four and a half days away. So this is the uh, chart taking us up to Sunday. And it's this ridge here I want you to look at here in the Atlantic. Notice how that builds northwards look. Warm air pumping northwards is pumping this ridge, building the ridge all the time. Look, and once we get into seven days, so this is uh, taking us up to next Wednesday. Notice that the ridge then is uh, well established across the UK. Um, but we've got this feature down towards the south, look, this little cut off cold pool, and the Canadian tries to bring this feature back northwards look and take us into more unsettled conditions in about 10 days time although even though high pressure is still linked through look from the Atlantic into Europe so the GM does see high pressure building but it wants to nudge in this low to the south bringing more unsettled conditions and it pushes the jet a long way to the north so that's the GM as I say that's the Canadian model but Take a look at the ECMWF operational. Similar sort of story. So we're going from today from the analysis in day steps up to day 10. And look, here's the ridge. So there's day four, there days five and day six. Day seven builds it nicely through the UK again. So that's a week today. But it establishes, look, the high then through the UK and keeps it there. What it does is keep the um, cutoff low down towards the south um, further away. So here it is, look, and you notice here, look, that it actually keeps it further south across Spain, continuing um, the pretty rough weather that Spain and Portugal and much of the Mediterranean have had this winter. Uh, also, what the ECMWF does is it strengthens the jet up towards the north, so it's pulling it through here, and eventually it does try and get it briefly through the UK, but it leans heavily into this higher pressure scenario developing again uh, during next week, well from the middle of next week onwards, having been unsettled through the weekend. 
FS Ensemble, very similar look. Uh, the ridge building in, uh, this is taking us from a week to day, so we're going through uh, day seven here, look. There's our ridge building through, look, and the ridge, as far as the uh, GFS Ensemble is concerned, is the dominating factor. It doesn't make so much look of the coal pool across Spain and Portugal. Remember, this is the Ensemble model. So it doesn't make so much of the coal pool across Spain and Portugal. What it does do is it strengthens significantly, look, the jet coming through the British Isles. So it actually pulls the unsettled conditions into Scotland, possibly into Northern England, during the back end of next week into next weekend, whilst building the high into the south. Um, so there's a quite a discrepancy here as to how things develop and how that high gets in and what happens to it. For my money, I'm tending to think, yeah, we'll get the unsettled weather through this weekend, perhaps into the middle stages of next weekend. But then, yes, the high builds in back end of next week. And I think that probably does bring dry weather across most of England and also Wales. But I'm not favouring particularly that dominant high that's been seen on the ECMWF. For me, I tend to think that uh, it may well be a case of the GFS Ensemble being more accurate in that it brings in this jet through Scotland, bringing the more unsettled conditions there uh, during the back end of next weekend and into next weekend whilst the south of the country stays on the dry side. After that, there's still many questions as to how this pattern develops. As I say, there's much uh, uncertainty between the models as to, as to what happens during the back end of the month. I must admit, I'm still favouring the idea of high pressure trying to get in get a real foothold on things for a time before going unsettled into the early part of March. And that idea is one that the uh, MJO uh, from the CFS is, is trying to pick up from, on. This from the Karma at Ritchie site. Um, as it takes us through phases 2, 3 and into 4. Um, 2 tends to be under high pressure, but 3s and 4s tending to become more unsettled. Particularly 4 is more of a westerly. Um, and that's where the ECMWF32 has been going as well. Uh, trying to bring in those more unsettled conditions. Uh, and, and incidentally going to phase four there, according to the CFS, around about the 10th of the month. Um, I don't think we take too much notice of the specific dates. It's the overall pattern trend uh, that we need to be looking at. As I say, I'll do some work on that today and have the results for you. But I've witted on enough, so for now I'm going to leave you with that. But whatever you're doing, thanks again for watching weatherweb.net. Keep the sun shining and bye for now.